Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the credentials of the two new ambassadors to Bahrain. The Malaysian ambassador Sharzil bin Zahiran arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was received by the Chief of Royal Protocols and the usual protocols were performed. His Majesty received the credentials of the Malaysian ambassador and exchanged greetings with him, praising the bilateral relations and their developments in all fields, and wished him success in his diplomatic task. Israeli Ambassador Etan Nai also arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was received by the Chief of Royal Protocols and the usual protocols were performed. His Majesty received the credentials of the Israeli ambassador and exchanged greetings with him, praising the bilateral relations and their development in all fields and wished him success in his diplomatic tasks. The ambassadors conveyed the greetings of their respective heads of state as well as their good wishes to His Majesty. They also wished Kingdom and its people for their progress and prosperity. They praised the close bilateral ties with the Kingdom as well. The ceremony was attended by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, the Minister of the Royal Court, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Chief of Royal Protocols. Thank <laughs> you. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace Ambassador Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman bin Ali Al Khalifa on the occasion of the issuance of the royal decree to appoint him head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission to Saudi Arabia with the title of Ambassador Extraordinary and Pilgrim Potentially, and he took the legal oath before His Majesty the King. His Majesty congratulated the Ambassador, hailing his competency in assuming this national responsibility. His Majesty wished him success in performing this new diplomatic task and asked him to convey his greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and his wishes of progress and prosperity to the Saudi people. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the historic relations and fraternal ties between the two countries as well as the mutual keenness on bolstering them to achieve the interests of the countries and their people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Elba, Sheikh Daij bin Salman bin Daij Al Khalifa, and the CEO of the company Ali Al Bagali on the occasion of celebrating the Golden Jubilee of the establishment of the company. The Board of Directors Chairman presented His Majesty the King with a commemorative gift on the occasion. His Majesty the King highlighted the vital role of major developmental projects in boosting the national economy and providing from promising opportunities to achieve the goals of the comprehensive developmental march in the kingdom. His Majesty the King congratulated the company's executives, expressing thanks and appreciation for their efforts and those of all the company's affiliates in managing operations and marketing, which was reflected on its advanced performance and regional and international competitiveness. He affirmed that the aluminum sector in Bahrain is one of the most important pillars of Bahrain's economy and it has contributed to diversifying sources of income in the kingdom and and provided many job opportunities for its national competencies. His Majesty hailed the continuous development and remarkable achievements that the company has made since its establishment in the early 70s as a pioneering project in the region. For its part, Sheikh Daij expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his directives and for his support to the company. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree Number 121 of 2021, ratifying the agreements concluded between Bahrain's Foreign Affairs Ministry and the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation on the establishment of a Joint Committee for Bilateral Cooperation. The agreement was signed by the two ministries in Manama on November 17, 2021. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadaybiyah Palace. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister following the successful launch of the first joint Bahraini Marathi satellite Light One. The cabinet noted that this significant project is in line with Bahrain's efforts in supporting space sciences and exploration. The cabinet offered best wishes to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown. Prince and Prime Minister, as well as the residents and citizens of Bahrain on the upcoming New Year. The Cabinet noted its ambition for 2022 to be a successful and prosperous year for Bahrain and the rest of the world. The Cabinet was then briefed by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism on the restructuring plan of the Gulf Aluminum Rolling Mill Garmco, which took place under the reorganization and bankruptcy law that was recently made accessible in the Kingdom's courts. The Cabinet highlighted that the restructuring of the company has contributed to its sustainability and the preservation of 700 jobs. The cabinet strongly condemned the Houthi militia's act of terrorism in launching projectiles towards the cities of Najran and Jazan in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which took the lives of two civilians and injured others. The cabinet expressed the sincere condolences of Bahrain to the families and relatives of those who lost their lives and wished the injured a speedy and full recovery. The cabinet affirmed Bahrain's solidarity with Saudi Arabia and complete support for all the measures it takes to maintain its security, stability and territorial integrity.
The Cabinet discussed a number of memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. The approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the University of Bahrain and Huawei Technologies Bahrain. The MOU establishes a working relationship to deploy training programs for the transfer of ICT technologies to the UOB via the Huawei Authorized Information and Network Academic Program. A memorandum by the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning regarding the total and partial acquisition of several real estate for public use. A memorandum by the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning regarding a draft decision concerning the regulations for importing, selling and cultivating the Damas tree. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs regarding the Supreme Council for Environment's 2021 Air Quality Report. The Kingdom's air quality has been been monitored and analyzed through specialized stations in accordance to methodologies approved by the World Health Organization, which showed that most of its air components in Bahrain are within the normal levels. A report on the National Communication Center priorities for 2022, which is built on seven main courses of action and contains 24 initiatives. The Cabinet then took note of ministerial reports regarding the Kingdom's participation in the extraordinary meeting of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation on Afghanistan, the Joint Ministerial Meeting of the UK Gulf Cooperation Council Foreign Ministers Meeting, the 41st Meeting of the Arab Ministers of Social Affairs Council, as well as the foreign participations of ministers and the visits of foreign delegations to Bahrain for the month of January 2022. The Council of Representatives held its weekly meeting chaired by its Speaker Fawzi Azainal. The Council approved Decree by Law No. 16 of 2021, ratifying a number of provisions of the Labour and the Civil Sector Law. A draft law amending Article 1 of Decree by Law 27 of 2015 on commercial registration was also approved. The Council approved two draft laws, one issuing the Marine Law and the other ratifying the main system of the Organisation of the Islamic Conference's Women Development Organisation in Member States. States. The Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam Khalaf, affirmed that the Urban Planning and Development Authority is in the process of planning all unplanned areas in the Kingdom. He affirmed the acceleration of planning 69 sites and said that the process will entail three phases as per the Kingdom's strategic plan. And the Ministry of Housing announced the distribution of 2,000 housing units in the Salman and East Head cities to beneficiaries in implementation of the order of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Ministry said that it is an achievement in the light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and stressed the government's interest headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to provide 25,000 housing units for citizens and achieve the objectives of the economic recovery plan. The ministry stated that some of these units are part of projects that feature seafront views, walking and cycling paths and open green spaces.